Hi, this is Alex Colvin. This is just another interesting little painting, kind of an exercise. A little bit smaller. This one's 1620 acrylic um, on canvas. And, uh, you know, what, what can I say about this one? I, I'm going to call it Sitting by the Lake. Um, and uh, this one, you know, whereas recently I've been starting just like with color and then uh, letting form come out of color um, you know form emerge from light and instead on this one I decided uh, to go ahead and just start with basic forms so this was kind of a little exercise just starting first with a a green cone a yellow square which eventually disappeared or didn't disappear but it just kind of provided value in the background um, but there, it, there was a green cone, a yellow square, a red sphere, and a blue, only a remnant remains, a blue cylinder, which eventually got swallowed up. Um, and, but that was, that was what it was. And then once I had that, then I started looking at it and working at the painting by turning it around upside down and on one side. I worked on it from three different sides. And so just looking at how those uh, three forms went together and uh, you know red of course comes to the front, blue you know went to the background but it was big and so it sort of stood out. And then um, and then the green and the yellow and then so then on one of the sides in particular which I'm not going to take time to turn it over, then certain um, more organic forms began to appear. And then I began just playing with the color. And uh, so then when I put it back right upside, up, right, upright, you know, then a more kind of a natural scene began to manifest um, and with the sky and then the trees. And I felt like I needed some balance, and the water, and um, and then out of the nature, then then you know like a, a human form began to come into play. This was funny, and I'm not going into all the details because it, because it becomes too much. But you know, over time, I'm going to discuss this, you know, form versus uh, the energy, um, because. It relates to uh, the yin and yang, it relates to the Kabbalah, it relates to the creative process. You know, the um, yin and yang, we normally, uh, in the West, they say positive and negative, male and female. But in China, yin and yang, you know, it's the side of the hill that gets hit by the sun is yang. And the side of the hill that's in the shade is yin. That was the original meaning of the characters. And then that became, you know, energy, uh, you know, and uh, it, it became like, you know, heaven and earth, the creative energy and the receptive, you know, the creative and the receptive, which is really like energy manifesting in form, which in the Kabbalah, the two first, uh, Sephiro after Kether, um, Hokma, which is the creative energy manifesting out, and Bina, which is un understanding and but also form so creative energy manifesting into form and you know uh, y the two go together in, in the mind of the creator both exist and that's why some painters they start with form a lot of your classical chiascaro and you know uh, re renaissance artists you know, it's like you define your values, you do your drawing, so you have your form, and then you color it in. Um, and as opposed to the Impressionists and others who, you know, wanted to work with light and, you know, uh, sort of, you know, and, and some who just focused on color. Um, and then the forms may emerge from the color. Uh, but you know it's it's good as in everything to have a balance and um, so that's probably you know enough on this um, it's it's interesting 
you know, just to, you know, sometimes have these types of things, uh, you know, the more that an artist develops their technique, the more that they master all of these things. And, you know, and it's a lot. So anyway, this one I call Sitting by the Lake. And, uh, you know, the it's kind of an interesting thing because this spherical form, which developed a neck, you know, is kind of like there. And um, this face sort of just emerged out of the natural environment. Um, and so over time, you know, I think I talked more about this, you know, form, color, energy, life, you know, because I think the right balance of energy and form gives the painting life. Uh, form uh, that isn't driven by energy, you know, lacks life. And that's what the Greeks, you know, called art, which was zoographic, graphic, can't pronounce it now. Zoographic, oh man. Graphic, Graphificos, zoographificos, something like that, you know, which means, uh, you know, any kind of graphic form, whether it's writing or um, painting, you know, but it has to have life. The zo, it has to have life. Life in manifestation is art. Have a wonderful day. Um, if you have time, go out and sit by a lake. Bye.